Hi everyone, I'm Marcy, and today I'm cooking up some Valentine's dinner inspiration. The perfect steak, asparagus wrapped in bacon, and those delicious cheesy baked potatoes that are showing up all over the internet. It's the complete meal that's going to look extra special, but it's one anybody can make. So if you want to impress your love on Valentine's Day, keep watching. The potatoes will take the longest, so we'll start there. First, preheat your oven to 425 degrees, and then take a couple of chopsticks, place them on your cutting board, and we're going to place the potatoes in between them. These are yellow potatoes, by the way. We're going to be using the chopsticks as a guide and only slicing as far as those chopsticks will allow. Once sliced, slather the potatoes with melted butter, making sure to get inside each one of those slices. And season with plenty of salt and pepper. Place the potatoes in the oven to bake for 30 minutes at 425 degrees. Then take them out of the oven, reduce the temperature to 350 degrees, and place a slice of cheddar cheese in every one of those slices. Put them back in the oven another 10 minutes until the cheese melts. Top with sour cream and sprinkle with chives or green onions. For the bacon-wrapped asparagus, take your washed asparagus and cut off the woody bottoms. Then take a few at a time and wrap them in a single slice of bacon, making sure the bacon overlaps as you turn it around. Brush the bacon with your favorite barbecue sauce. Drizzle a little olive oil over the asparagus. Season with coarse salt and bake at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. When it comes out, the bacon and the asparagus should be perfectly cooked. Now for the steak. I've got two New York strip or sirloin steaks that I patted dry and I seasoned with plenty of coarse salt and pepper. The longer you let it soak in the salt, the better. In fact, some say if you season it the night before and let it chill in the refrigerator overnight, it's supposed to be even better because the salt draws out any liquid in the meat, resulting in a juicier steak. Although I've never tried that. When it's time to cook, heat a skillet with a high heat oil, then drop in your steaks and let them sear until they form a crust. Flip them over and let the other side form a crust. Then add in half a stick of butter. Along with a couple of sprigs of fresh rosemary and some fresh garlic cloves that you've smashed to release the flavor. And you take a spoon and continuously pour that flavor-infused butter all over the steak. Because we all like different levels of doneness, use a thermometer to check the internal temperature. Then use this chart to help you determine when your steak is done. 
When your steaks reach your desired temperature, take them out of the pan. And it's very important to let your steaks rest 10 minutes before cutting into them. And now we can plate. Tasty asparagus, a delicious cheesy baked potato, and a juicy steak cooked to perfection. Who wouldn't love this? Dinner is served. For dessert, I went easy on myself. I whipped together a box of instant chocolate pudding according to the package instructions and then added almost a full tub of whipped cream to it, reserving just a little for the topping. Place it in the refrigerator or the freezer to speed up the firming process. Then put it in a pastry bag and pipe it into individual serving dishes. Top with more whipped cream and some fresh fruit and you've got a decadent, no fuss chocolate mousse. Your Valentine will surely love this. Thanks so much for checking out this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Then be sure to check back next week when I share more Valentine's dinner inspiration to impress your love. Until next time, blessings from my kitchen to yours. <laughs>